ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय वेलकम टू टुडे रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्री चैतन्य चरित अमृत वी हैव बीन रीडिंग फ्रॉम द आदि लीला चैप्टर टेन वर्ष वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी एट ऑन वर्ष विल टुडे वाचनम पंगुम लंघय ते गिरी यत कृपा तम हम वंदे श्री गुरु दीन तारिणम परमानंद माधवम श्री चैतन्य ईश्वरम हरिओं तत्स तांडा स्थाने रूप गोसानी सुनेना भागवत प्रभुरा कृपया तेनो कृष्ण प्रेमे मत्ता वाइल स्टेड विथ श्रीला रूप गोस्वामी हिज इन एंगेजमेंट वॉज टू रिसाइड श्रीमद भागवतम फॉर हिम टू हेयर एज द रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस भागवतम रिसिटेशन ही अटेन परफेक्शन लव ऑफ कृष्णा बाय विच ही रिमेन ऑलवेज मैडंड रघुनाथ भट्टाचार्य और रघुनाथ भट्ट गोस्वामी वन ऑफ द सिक्स गोस्वामी वॉज द सन ऑफ तपन मिश्रा बॉर्न अप्रॉक्सीमेटली फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी फाइव शकाब द ए डी फिफ्टीन ओ थ्री ही वॉज एक्सपर्ट इन रिसाइटिंग श्रीमद भागवतम एंड इन अंतलीला चैप्टर थर्टीन इट इज स्टेटेड दैट ही वॉज ऑल्सो एक्सपर्ट इन कुकिंग वट एवर ही कुक वुड बी नेक्टेरियन श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु वॉज ग्रेटली प्लीज to accept the food that he cooked and raghunath bhat used to make take the remnants of the food left by shri chatanya mahaprabhu raghunath bhattacharya lived for 8 months in jagannath puri after which lord chatanya ordered him to go to vrindavan to join shri rup goswami shri chatanya mahaprabhu asked raghunath bhattacharya not to marry but to remain a brahmachari and he also ordered him to read shrimad bhagavatam constantly Thus he went to Vrindavan, where he engaged in reciting Shrimad Bhagavatam to Sri Larup Goswami. He was so expert in reciting Shrimad Bhagavatam that he would recite each and every verse in three melodious tunes. While Raghunath Bhatt Goswami was living with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Lord blessed him by offering him betel nuts offered to the Jagannath deities and a garland of tulsi. said to be as long as 14 cubits under raghunath bhatt goswami's order one of his disciples constructed the govinda temple raghunath bhatt goswami supplied all the ornaments of the govinda deity he never talked of nonsense or worldly matters but always engaged in hearing about krishna 24 hours a day He never cared to hear blasphemy of any Vaishnav, even when there were points to be criticized. He used to say that since all the Vaishnavs were engaged in the service of the Lord, he did not mind their faults. Later, Raghunath Bhatt Goswami lived by Radha Kund in a small cottage in the Gora Ganudesh Deepika. One eight five. It is said that Raghunath Bhatt Goswami was formerly the Gopi named Rag Manjari. Verse one five nine. ए मता संख्यातीत चैतन्य भक्त गण दीन मात्र लिखी समयत ना याया कथन आई लिस्ट इन दिस वे ओनली अ पोर्शन ऑफ द इन्यूमरेबल डिवोटीज ऑफ लॉर्ड चैतन्य टू डिस्क्राइब देम फुली इज नॉट पॉसिबल वर्स 160 एकाएक शाखाते लागे कोटि कोटि दाल तार शिष्य उपशिष्य तार उपडाल फ्रॉम ईच ब्रांच ऑफ द ट्री हैव ग्रोन हंड्रेड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ सब ब्रांचेस ऑफ डिसाइपल्स एंड ग्रैंड डिसाइपल्स परपर इट वाज द डिजायर ऑफ लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु दैट हिज कल्ट बी स्प्रेड ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड देयरफॉर देयर इज अ ग्रेट नेसेसिटी फॉर मेनी मेनी डिसाइपल्स ऑफ द ब्रांचेस ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभुस डिसिप्लिक सक्सेशन is cult should be spread not only in a few villages or in bengal or in india but all over the world it is very regrettable that complacent so called devotees criticize the members of the international society for krishna consciousness for accepting sannyas and spreading the cult of lord chaitanya all over the world it is not our business to criticize anyone but because they try to find fault with this movement The real truth must be stated. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted devotees all over the world, and Sri La Bhakti Sidan Saraswati Thakur and Sri La Bhakti Vinod Thakur confirmed this. 
it is in pursuit of their will that the ISKCON movement is spreading all over the world. Genuine devotees of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu must take pride in the spread of the Krishna consciousness movement instead of viciously criticizing its propaganda work. Verse 161 Sakala Bhariya Ache Prema Phula Phale Bhasayala Tri Jagat Krishna Prema Jale Every branch and sub-branch of the tree is full of innumerable fruits and flowers. They inundate the world with the waters of love of Krishna. Verse 162 Eka Eka Shakara Shakti Anant Mahima Sahasra Vadane Yar Dite Nare Seema Each and every branch of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's devotees has unlimited spiritual power and glory. Even if one had thousands of mouths, it would be impossible to describe the limits of their activities. Verse 163 Sankshepe Kaila Mahaprabhura Bhakta Gana Samagra Balite Nare Sahasra Vadan I have briefly described the devotees of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in different places. Even Lord Shesh, who has thousands of mouths, could not list them all. Verse 164 Shri Rupa Raghunath Pade Yara Asha Chaitanya Charitamrit Kahe Krishna Dasa Praying at the lotus feet of Shri Rupa and Shri Raghunath, always desiring their mercy, I, Krishna Das, narrate Shri Chaitanya Charitamrit following in their footsteps. Purport, thus end the Bhaktivedan purpose to Shri Chaitanya Charitamrit Adivila, chapter 10, with the matter of the main trunk of the Chaitanya tree, its branches and its sub branches. So we will now proceed to chapter 11, the expansions of Lord Nityananda. As the branches and sub-branches of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu were described in the 10th chapter, in the 11th chapter, the branches and sub-branches of Sri Nityananda Prabhu are similarly listed. First one, Nityananda Padma Bhoja Bhringan Prema Madhu Madan Natva Kilan Teshu Mukhya Likhyante Katuchin Maya. After offering my obeisances unto all the devotees of Srinitya and the Prabhu, who are like the bumblebees collecting honey from his lotus feet, I shall try to describe those who are the most prominent. Verse number two Jai Jai Mahaprabhu Shri Krishna Chaitanya Tanhara Charanashrita Ye Se Dhanya. All glories to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Anyone who has taken shelter at his lotus feet is glorious. Verse number 3. Jai Jai Shri Advaita Jai Nityananda Jai Jai Mahaprabhu Ra Sarva Bhakta Vrinda. All glories to Sri Advaita Prabhu, Nityananda Prabhu and all the devotees of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Verse number 4. Tasya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Sat Prema Amar Shakina Udva Skandhav Avdhu Tendo Shakha Rupan Ganan Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Chaitanya Shri Sorry Shri Nityananda Prabhu is the topmost branch of the indestructible tree of the eternal love of Godhead Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu I offer my respectful obeisances to all the sub branches of that topmost branch. Verse number five Sri Nityananda Rikshera Skanda Gurutara Tahate Janmila Shakha Prashakha Vistar. Sri Nityananda Prabhu is an extremely heavy branch of Sri Chaitanya tree. From that branch grow many branches and sub branches. Verse number six Mala Karera Icha Jale Bare Shakha Gana. Prema Phula Phale Bhari Chaila Bhuvan Watered by the desire of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, these branches and sub-branches have grown unlimitedly and covered the entire world with fruits and flowers. Verse number 7 Asankhya Ananta Ganake Karu Ganana Apna Shodite Kahi Mukhya Mukhya Jana these branches and sub-branches of devotees are innumerable and unlimited. Who 
who could count them for my personal purification, I shall try to enumerate only the most prominent among them. Purport, one should not write books or essays on transcendental subject matter for material name, fame or profit. Transcendental literature must be written under the direction of a superior authority because it is not meant for material purposes. If one tries to write under superior authority, he becomes purified. All Krishna conscious activities should be undertaken for personal purification, apana, shodite, not for material gain. First number eight. Shri Virbhadra Gosani Skanda Mahashakha Tandra Upashakha Yata Asankhya Tar Lekha After Nityana Prabhu, the greatest branch is Virbhadra Gosani who has innumerable branches and sub-branches. It is not possible to describe them all. Purpur Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur writes in his Anubhashya Virbhadra Gosani was the direct son of Srila Nityananda Prabhu and a disciple of Janava Devi. His real mother was Vasudha in the Gora connotation Deepika 67. He is mentioned as an incarnation of Shiro Dakshai Vishnu. Therefore, Birbhadra Gosani is non different from Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in a village of the name Jamatpura in the district of Hugli. Virbhadra Gosani had a disciple named Yedunathacharya who had two daughters, a real daughter named Srimati and a foster daughter named Narayani. Both these daughters married and they are mentioned in the Bhakti Ratnakar 13th wave. Virbhadra Gosani had three disciples who are celebrated as his sons, Gopijana Vallabh, Ramakrishna, and Ramchandra. The youngest Ramchandra belonged to the Shandilya dynasty and had a surname Vat Vyala. He established his family at Khardaha and its members are known as Goswamis of Khardaha. The eldest disciple Gopichan Vallabh was a resident of a village known as Lata near the Mankar railway station in the district of Gurdwan. The second Ramakrishna lived near Malda in a village named Gaishapura, Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur notes that since these three disciples belonged to different Gotras or dynasties and also had different surnames and lived in different places, it is not possible to accept them as real sons of Birbhadra Goshani. Ramchandra had four sons of whom the eldest was Radha Madhav, whose third son was named Yadvendra, Yadvendra's son was Nandakishore, his son was Nidhi Krishna, his son was Chaitanya Chan Chanda, his son was Krishna Mohan, his son was Jagmohan, his son was Rajanath, and his son was Shamulal Goswami. This is the genealogical table given by Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur for the descendants of Virbhadra Goswami, verse 9, Ishwara Harahi. Iya Kahaya Mahabhagwat Ved Dharma Tita Hana Ved Dharme Ratha. Although Virbhadra Gosani was the supreme personality of Godhead, he presented himself as a great devotee, and although the Supreme Godhead is transcendental to all Vedic injunctions, he strictly followed the Vedic rituals. Verse number 10. Antare Ishwara Cheshta Bahire Nirdambha Chaitanya Bhakti Mandape Teno Mula Stambha. He is the main pillar in the Hall of Devotional Service erected by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He knew within himself that he acted as a Supreme Lord Vishnu, but externally he was prideless. Verse 11 Adhyapi Yanhara Kripa Mahima Haite Chaitanya Nityananda Gai Sakala Jagate. It is by the glorious mercy of Sri Virbhadra Gosani that people all over the world now have the chance to chant the names of Chaitanya and Nityananda. Verse 12 Say Virbhadra Gosani Ra La Inu Sharan Yanara Prasade Hai Abhishta Puran Purana. 
I therefore take the shelter of the lotus feet of Virbhadra Gosani so that by his mercy my great desire to write Sri Chaitanya Charitamrit will be properly guided. Verse 13 Sri Ramadas Ar Gadadhar Das Chaitanya Gosani Ra Bhakta Rahe Tanra Pas Two devotees of Lord Chaitanya named Sri Ramadas and Gadadhar Das always lived with Sri Virbhadra Gosani Purpose Sri Ramdas, later known as Abhiram Thakur, was one of the 12 Gopals or coward boyfriends of Sri Chaitanya Prabhu. The Gora Ganudesh Deepika 1 to 6 states that Sri Ramdas was formerly Sri Ram. In the Bhakti Ratnakar fourth wave, there is a description of Srila Abhiram Thakur. By the order of Srila Nityananda Prabhu, Abhiram Thakur became a great Acharya and preacher of the Chaitanya cult of devotional service. He was a very influential personality and non-devotees were very much afraid of him. Empowered by Srila Nityananda Prabhu, he was always in ecstasy and was extremely kind to all fallen souls. It is said that if he offered obeisances to any stone other than Shalagram Shila, it would immediately fracture. Srila Bhakti Siddhant Saraswati Thakur writes in his Anubhashya 10 miles southwest of Chan. Chanpa, Chanpa Danga, down the railway station on the narrow gauge railway line from Havra in Calcutta to Amta, a village in the Hooghly district in a small town named Khanakula Krishna Nagar, where the temple in which Abhiram Thakur worshipped is situated. During the rainy season, when this area is inundated with water, people must go there by another line which is now called the South Eastern Railway. On this line, there is a station named Kolaghat, from which one has to go by steamer to Rani Chakka, seven and a half miles north of Rani Chakka is Khanakula. The temple where Abhiram Thakur worshipped is situated in Krishna Nagar, which is near the Kula or the bank of the Khana Dwarakeshwara River. Therefore, this place is celebrated in Khanakula Krishna Nagar. Outside of the temple is Bakula tree. This place is known as Siddha Bakula Kunja. It is said that when Abhiram Thakur came there, he sat down under his tree, under this tree. In Khanakula Krishna Nagar, there is a big fair held every year in the month of Chaitra, March to April, on the Krishna Saptami, the seventh day of the dark moon. Many hundreds and thousands of people gather for this festival. The temple where Abhiram Thakur worshipped has a very old history. The deity in the temple is known as Gopinath. There are many Saivet families living near the temple. It is said that Abhiram Thakur had a bib and that whoever he touched with it would immediately become an elevated devotee of Krishna, among his many disciples, Sriman Rishinivas Acharya was the most famous and the most dear. But it is doubtful that he was his initiated disciple. Verses 14 and 15. Nityanande Ajna Dile Dila Yabe Gode Yaite Mahaprabhu E Dui Dila Tantra Sate Atev Dui Gane Dunhara Ganana Madhava Vasudeva Gusherao Erivarna. Translation Meditana Prabhu was ordered to go to Bengal to preach. These two devotees, Sri Ramdas and Gadadhar Das, were ordered to go with him. Thus, they are sometimes counted among the devotees of Lord Chaitanya and sometimes among the devotees of Lord Nityananda. Similarly, Madhav Ghosh and Vasudev Ghosh belong to the to both groups of devotees simultaneously. Purpur Srila Bhakti Siddhant Saraswati Thakur writes in his Anubhashya, there is a place named Dani Hatha near the Agradweep railway station and Patuli in the district of Burdwan, where the deity of Sri Gopinath Ji is still situated. This deity accepted Govinda Ghosh as his father. Even until today, the deity performs the Shrad ceremony on the anniversary of the death of Govind Ghosh. The temple of this deity is managed by Raj Vamsha family of Krishnanagar whose members are descendants of Raja Krishnachandra. 
every year in the month of Vaishak when there is a Bardola ceremony, this Gopinath deity is taken out to Krishna Nagar. The ceremony is performed with 11 other deities and then Sri Gopinath ji is brought back to the temple in Akritvik. Verse 16, Ramadas Mukhyas Shakha Sakya, Sakya Premarashi Shola Sangera Shang Sangera Kastha Yetuli Kaila Vamshi Ramdas, one of the chief branches, was, was full of fraternal love of Godhead. He made a flute from a stick with 16 knots. Verse 17, Gadadar Das Gopi Bhave Purna Nanda Yandra Gare Dana Keli Kaila Nityananda. Sri Lagadadar Das was always fully absorbed in ecstasy as a gopi in his house. Lord Nityananda enacted the drama Dana Keli. Verse 18 Shimadam Ghosh Mukhya Kirtaniya Gane Nityananda Prabhu Nitya Kare Yandra Gane. Shimadam Ghosh was a principal performer of Kirtan. While he sang, Nityananda Prabhu danced. Verse 19. Vasudev Gite Kare Prabhura Varnane Kashtha Pashan Drave Yahara Shravane. When Vasudev Ghosh described Lord Chaitanya and Nityananda while performing Kirtan, even wood and stone would melt upon hearing it. Verse 20. Murari Chaitanya Dasera Alokit Leela Vyagra Gale there were many extraordinary devotees, sorry, activities performed by Murari, a great devotee of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sometimes in his ecstasy, he would slap the cheek of a tiger and sometimes he would play with the venomous snake. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur writes in his Anubhashya, Murari Chaitanya Das was born in the village of Sarvrindavan, Pura, which is situated about two miles from Kalashi station on the Burdwan line. When Murari Chaitanya Das came to Navadweep, he settled in the village of Mora Druma or Mamagachi Gram. At that time, he became known as Saranga or Saranga Murari Chaitanya Das. The descendants of his family still reside in Sarer Pat in the Chaitanya Bhagwat. Antya Kanda, Chapter 5, there is the following statement. Murari Chaitanya Das had no material bodily features for he was completely spiritual. He would sometimes chase after tigers in the jungle and he would slap the cheek of a tiger and take a venomous snake on his lap. He had no fear for his external body of which he was completely forgetful. He could spend all 24 hours day of the day chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra or speaking about Lord Chaitanya Nityananda. Sometimes he would remain submerged in water for two or three days but he would feel no bodily inconvenience. Thus he behaved almost like a stone or wood but he always used his energy in chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. No one can describe his specific characteristics but it is understood that wherever Murari Chaitanya passed, whoever was present would be enlightened in Krishna consciousness simply by the atmosphere he created. Verse 21 Nityanandera Ganayata Sab Rajasakha Shringa Vetra Gopavesha Shire Sikhi Pakha. All the associates of Lord Nityananda were formerly cowherd boys in Brajabhumi. Their symbolic representations were the horns and sticks they carried, their cowherd dresses and the peacock plumes on their heads. Purpur Janva Mata is also within the list of Lord Nityananda's followers. She is described in the Gauraganadesh Deepika 66 as Ananga Manjari of Vrindavan. All the devotees are followers of Janva Mata are counted within the list of Sri Nityananda Prabhu's devotees. Verse 22, Raghunath Vaidya Upadhyaya Mahashaya Yanhara Darshane Krishna Prema Bhakti Hai. The physician Raghunath, also known as Upadhyaya, was so great a devotee that simply by seeing him, one would awaken his dormant love of Godhead. 
verse 23 Sundarananda Nityanandera Shaka Bhritya Marma Yandra Sange Nityananda Kare Vraja Narma Sundaranand, another branch of Shitadha Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was Lord Nityananda's most intimate servant. Lord Nityananda Prabhu perceived the life of Rajbhumi in his company. Purpur Shila Bhakti Siddhant Saraswati Thakur writes in his Anupashya in the Chaitanya Bhagavat, Antya Khand, Chapter 5. It is stated that Sundaranand was an ocean of love of Godhead and the chief associate of Sri Nityananda Prabhu. In the Gora Ganudesh Deepika 1 to 7, he is stated to have been Sudama in Krishna Lila. Thus, he was one of the 12 Kavad boys who came down with Balram when he descended as Sri Nityananda Prabhu. The holy place where Sundaranand lived is situated in the village known as Maheshpura, which is about 14 miles east of. Majdiya railway station of the Eastern Ra Railway from Calcutta to Burdwan. This place is within the district of Jessore, which is now in Bangladesh. Among the relics of this village, only the old residential house of Sundaranand still exists. At the end of the village resides a bala, that is pseudo, Vaishnava and all the buildings, both the temples and the house, appear to be newly constructed. In Maheshpur, there are deities of Sri Radha Ballab and Sri Sri Radha Raman. Near the temple is a small river of the name Vetravati. Sundaranand Prabhu was a Nashtik Brahman. He never married in his life. Therefore, he had no direct descendants except his disciples. But the descendants of his family still reside in the village known as Mangala, the Mangala Dihi in the district of Birbhom. In that same village is a temple of Balram and the deity there is regularly worshipped. The original deity of Maheshpur Radhavallab was taken by Saidabad Goswamis of Barhampur and since the present deities were installed, a Zamindar family of Maheshpura has looked after their worship on the full moon day of the month of Magh, which is January, February. The anniversary of Sundaranand's dis disappearance is regularly celebrated and people from the neighboring areas gather together to observe this festival. Verse 24 Kamala Karapipalai Alokik Rita Alokik Prem Tanra Bhuvane Vidita Kamalakar Pippalai is said to have been a third Gopal. His behavior and love for Godhead were uncommon and thus he celebrated all over the world. Purport Srila Bhaktisiddhan Saraswati Thakur writes in his Anubhashya in the Gora Ganadesh Deepika 1 to 8. Kamalakar Pippalai is described as a third Gopal. His former name was Mahabal. The Jagannath deity at Mahesh in Sri Rampura was installed by Kamalakar Pippalai. This village of Mahesh is situated about two and a half miles from Sri Rampura railway station. The genealogy of the family of Kamalakar Pippalai is given as follows. Kamalakar Pippalai had a son named Chaturbhuj who had two sons named Narayan and Jagannath. Narayan had one son named Jagadarand and his son was Rajiv Lochan. During the time of Rajiv Lochan, there was a scarcity of finances for the worship of Jagannath deity and it is said that Nawab of Dhaka, whose name was Shah Suja, donated 1,185 bigas of land, which is about 395 acres in the Bengali year 1060, which is AD 1653. The land being the possession of Jagannath, the village was named Jagannath Pura. It is said that when Kamalakar Vipalai left home, his younger brother Nidhipati Vipalai searched for him and in due course of time found him in the village of Mahesh. Nidhipati Vipalai tried his best to bring his elder brother home, but he would not return. Under these circumstances, Nidhipati Vipalai with all his family members came to Mahesha to reside the members of his family still reside in the vicinity of the Mahesh village. Their family name is Adhikari and they are a Brahman family. 
The history of Jagannath Temple in Mahesha is as follows. One devotee of the name Dhruvananda went to see Lord Jagannath Balram and Subhadra at Jagannath Puri, wanting to offer food to Jagannath Ji that he had cooked with his own hands. This being his desire, one night Jagannath Ji appeared to him in a dream and asked him to go to Mahesh on the bank of Mahesh on the bank of Ganges and there stand worship of him in a temple. Thus Truvananda went to Mahesh where he saw the three deities Jagannath Baldev and Subhadra floating in the Ganges. He picked up all those deities and installed them in a small cottage and with great satisfaction he executed the worship of Lord Jagannath. When he became old he was anxious to hand over the worship to a charge to the charge of someone reliable and in a dream he got permission from Jagannath Prabhu to hand it over to a person whom he would meet the next morning. The next morning he met Kamalakar Kar Ippalai, who was formerly an inhabitant of the village Kali Juli in the Sundarban forest area of Bengal and was a pure Vaishnav. A great devotee of Lord Jagannath Dasidi immediately gave him charge of the worship. In this way, Kamalakar Pipalai became the worshipper of Lord Jagannath, and since then, his family members have been designated as Adhikari, which means one who is empowered to worship the Lord. The Adhikaris belong to a respectable Brahman family. Five types of upper class Brahmins are recognized by the surname Pipalai. Verse 25 Surya Das Sara Khela Tandra Bhai Krishna Das Ityanande Dhrida Vishwasa Premera Nivas Surya Das Sara Khela and his brother, younger brother Krishna Das Sara Khela, both possessed firm faith in Nityananda Prabhu. They were the reservoir of love of Godhead. In the Bhakti Ratnaka 12th wave, it is said that few miles from Navadvip. Is a place called Sharikram that was the residence of Suridas Sarakhela. He was employed as a secretary in the Muslim government of that time and thus he amassed a good fortune. Suridas had four brothers, all of whom were pure Vaishnavs. Vasudha and Janva were two daughters of Suridas Sarakhela. So we'll continue our reading from verse 26 of the 11th chapter of Dadi Lilam Shri Chattanam Charitamrit next time thank you for joining Hariyam Tatsat Hare Krishna